Hi, my name is Laura Coco. I'm from Austin. I'm a third year Doctor of Audiology student here at UT in the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders. An audiologist is a doctor who treats and diagnoses hearing loss, and one of the ways we do that is by giving a hearing test with an audiometer. When people get their hearing tested, they go into a sound booth, the audiologist sits outside and changes the frequency and intensity of sounds to test someone's threshold of hearing or the softest sound they can hear. Unfortunately, many people don't have access to the traditional sort of hearing test where you go to a clinic and sit in a sound booth because they don't have transportation or money to get there, they just don't know about audiologists. The Kudu Wave audiometer is a portable diagnostic audiometer that can test hearing outside of the clinic so we can access people in their community. In America, the Kudu Wave is not widely used in clinics, it's mostly used for research. While we do have portable audiometers and we use those out in the field like in school settings, as screeners, so to test if someone passes or fails kind of a benchmark hearing test. The Kudu Wave audiometer is an advanced version of that because it can test thresholds, so very soft sounds that you're hearing. It is used as a diagnostic audiometer versus just a screening pass or fail. In this project, we're trying to evaluate the benefit um, of the Kudu Wave. So we're taking it to places like nursing homes where people are limited by lack of transportation, or government housing complexes where people may not have enough money or may not have enough time to think about hearing health care. The Kudu Wave has already been tested against traditional sound booth and audiometer setups and it's proven to be accurate, just as accurate as these traditional models, even in the presence of noise. So what's unique about the Kudu Wave is that it has sound attenuation on the ear. This is the Kudu Wave audiometer and it basically comes in two parts. This is um, the headphones that's used to transduce the sound. So we have these insert earplugs that will go in Bethany's ears and that's where the sound will come from. And then these super oral cups will go over her ears and make everything real quiet. It also has microphones outside of the super oral cups that are monitoring the sound level in the environment. And the output of that is displayed on this which is running the Kudu Wave software. So we can see at different octave bands what the noise level is uh, in real time. So the audiologist can view that and see if the noise is too loud, then we'll pause and wait for the sound to pass, and then we can continue the test. This part here is the patient's response button. So Bethany will press the button each time she hears a beep at a number of different frequencies. Even if the beep is really soft, she's going to press it because we're trying to measure her threshold of hearing or the softest sound she can hear. So the way to use the Kudu Wave is we put it first around her neck so we can put the insert earbuds in her ears. And then we put the ear cups over her ears. And everything gets real quiet and then we start to run the software which can run in automatic mode or the audiologist can manually change the frequency and intensity. And then Bethany will just press her response button whenever she hears a beep. Bethany is getting her hearing tested using the Kudu Wave in its automatic mode. So it's automatically cycling through different frequencies that are important for speech understanding and she's pressing the button each time she hears a beep and the beeps get softer in intensity because we're trying to measure the softest sound that she can hear or get her hearing threshold. Traditionally, this test is done in an audiology clinic with a patient sitting in a sound booth and the audiologist sitting outside using an audiometer. But in this case, the Kudu Wave is the sound booth, so the sound booth is on her ears. And from this test, we can get diagnostic information about her hearing status because we're able to measure thresholds that are very soft. For more information on the Kudu Wave audiometer or to learn more about the research we're doing in the audiology department, you can visit the audiology website through UT or the UT Speech and Hearing Center website. Thanks for watching.